detecting fraud apps using sentiment analysis. This is a .NET based project with an MS SQL Lite database. We have the source code open in Visual Studio. Let's now run the project from command prompt. With the help of this system, the admin makes decisions and predicts whether the application is genuine or fraudulent. Admin logs into the account using username and password. After logging into the system, the admin can fill in the necessary data on application details page for adding a new app to the system. To view all the added applications, the admin can also find the list of apps. You can see View Application. By clicking on this, it will list all the apps that have been added previously. All the app details and comments from the user will be displayed here. View User will show you a list of all users. By clicking on View, it will display all the details of the user. For users to benefit from this app to add comments or reviews for a particular app, they will need to log in first. Let's directly log into the system using the username and password of an existing user. Whether it's a genuine or fake app, it will list down all apps that have been added to the system. The user can select the app. Here, we will select the M indicator app and add a positive comment. You can see on the screen that in the comment section, you will find a recent comment. This app makes the decision whether the application is fraudulent or genuine on the basis of 100 negative word counts. If it crosses the word count limits, then it will declare the application as fraudulent. Also, the user can add feedback and the admin will be able to view all the feedback. So now, let's get into the database part and see how the fraud detection works with sentiments. We will open com count table and click on select top 100 rows to view all the data from the table. 5023 is an app ID of M indicator. Here, one positive feedback is given by the user and we will now manually add 100 negative counts to show you how the app is declared fraud. We will log into the user app once again to check out the outcome. Now, the app is declared as fraud. We have proposed a system which will process the information, comments and review the application to help in deciding whether the application is fraud or not.